Hey, welcome back. Let's go over the uh, guided practice. Now, assuming you did it, here are the answers. You had to do 1 through 4 on page 284. Answer number 1 is 1 and 3 sixteenths. Number 2 is 4 and 9 tenths. Number uh, 3 is 4 and 2 sevenths. Number 4 is 11 and 1 quarter miles. Again, on the quiz, do not forget, if you have a word problem, tell me what the number means, okay? What are we talking about? Give me a noun. Not a verb, a mound. Well, a mound. A noun, please. Anyways, let's get started with number one. We have one half times two and three eighths. Okay, I'm going to make a picture for this one because I really want you to understand the concept of what's going on. Okay? I'm going to break it down just a little bit. I'm going to rewrite it as this one half times two and three-eighths. By the way, since I broke it down anyways, let's see if we can estimate what the answer is going to be. All right, we have half. You guys can all, should all be able to imagine that. We have two, right? And then three-eighths. Three-eighths is pretty close to half. So half of two and a half? Well, what's half of two? It's one. What's half of half? What's half of 50 cents? A quarter. So the answer might be about one and a quarter. Right, 1.25, 1 and 1 fourth, something like that. So definitely not gonna be more than two, but we'll see. Okay, so let's just do the math. All right, so anyways, we have half. Basic little half. Okay, times two, we want two of these. By the way, it might well save a little trouble. We're making sets of two. If I put this together, we're still making sets of two, but now I have two out of two. Okay, let's just leave it there for now, right? This is the one that's gonna mess you guys up. We have a third half, right? Why? We need three eighths of another one. So half times two, half times two, twice, and another half, This one's going to be a little different. There's my half. I don't want the whole thing. It's like if you have half a sandwich. You ate, you bought a full sandwich, a foot long. You ate one part of it, so that's gone. You have half left, and then you save the other half. You cut your, what's left into two pieces, right? Actually, hold on. I'm, I'm stepping back a little bit. You ate a sandwich, a six foot long sandwich. You ate half, you're left with a foot long or half a foot long, right? One piece out of two. But now we want three eighths of that. Now this is gonna hurt because guess what? We have to cut this into eight pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ugh. If you'd imagine, I cut this into eighths, okay? Right? So eight pieces, eight pieces. Even if I don't have the sandwich there, I still have to count it. So eighths. And you know what? I'm going to draw it with a pencil. Do a pen so you can see a little better. And I want three eighths of it. I only want three pieces out of those eight. Okay. It's hard to see, but you should just visualize. You have half. You cut it up into eight pieces. That means you have six, you're supposed to have 16 now, right? Eight times two, 16, right? Eight twice, and you have three. One, two, three, but then you gotta count this. Do you? No, not really. You only have three, right? One, two, three, sixteenths, right? Out of the six pieces now, you only want three. If you cut if you cut these eight pieces, this one half, into eight pieces, you only want three, three sixteenths, right? So, now this is going to be easy to see. 2 over 2 same as 1. 1 plus 3 sixteenths is just 1 3 sixteenths. And there's your answer. Okay? So again, let's look at what we did. Half, twice. I added those pieces. Luckily, it worked out the whole number, right? Because we're making sets of 2. I have 2 pieces. 2 out of 2 is just 1. And... I had to make another half right there. 
and then I had to cut that half each side, even the side I didn't have, into eight pieces, into eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus another eight, that's 16. That becomes a new hole, eight, 16. But I only have three, right? That's where the red and the blue cross. So there you go. Okay. And I think we're good. But let me just show you with the, the equation, just to get it done quickly, okay? By now you should know you change the mixed number to an improper fraction. We're making sets of eight. I have two full sets of eight. You saw that here, right? Two full sets of eight. Plus three pieces, right? That's one half times 21 over eight. I kind of skipped a step. I hope you, hope you forgive me for that. Two times eight is 16. Plus three is, two. oh, I'm glad I checked. 16 plus three is not 21. Hope you can see that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, people, even teachers make mistakes, so. And do I feel embarrassed? A little, but do I, am I getting over it? Yeah. 16 plus 3, 19. There you go. Okay. Here we go. Numerator times numerator 19 is 19. Denominator times denominator is 16. I'm making sets of 16. I have... 19, I have one full set with three left over out of 16, okay? And there we go, and that's the answer. Yeah, okay. You know what, now I think about it, let me just go back to this drawing over here. Where did I get the one? You might be asking, how did you get one? Half a piece, half a piece, I'm making sets of two. If I bring this one piece over here, I have enough to fill it in, which gives me a full set, just in case you're curious. What is that number? All right, number two. One and three fourths times two and four fifths. Okay. All right, let's look at something. This is, well, let's just say, pretty close to one, right? Three fourths. Actually, it'd be close to half, close to, I'd rather go over. So, as a prediction, let's say this is two. One and three fourths, one plus one, two. Two and four fifths, four fifths is pretty close to one, so let's make that one as well. So two and one is three. So two times three is six. My answer is gonna be around six, maybe, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Right? But don't worry, if you don't understand what I said, let's just go right to the work. If you got what I said, great. Rewind it if you want. I just estimated. I changed I took these and tried to see how they compare to benchmark fractions. Zero, half, and one. Right? So, change them both to mix, uh, sorry, to improper fractions. I'm making sets of four, denominator stays the same. Four times one is four, plus three is seven. I skipped a lot of steps there, but that's okay. I'm making sets of five, I have two. That's two times five, or five times two is 10, plus four is 14, over five. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just do it over here because I know someone's going to ask, where do you get those numbers? Then I'm going to stay the same. 1 times 4. And from here, we get these answers here. Right? 4 plus 1 is 4. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 fourths. 5 fourths is 14. Boom. Now, I mentioned earlier, see if you can, this was actually the last lesson, can you simplify before you multiply? I could multiply 7 times 14 and get some big number, 4 times 5 and get a little smaller number, 20 is not that bad, but can I make the number smaller before I multiply anything? All right, 7 and 5 are both prime numbers, I don't have common factors. 4 and 14, they're even, that means I can use 2 as a factor. All right, 7 over 2 times 7 over 5. Much easier. You can actually use your time tables now if you want. Your time table chart. 7 times 7 is 49. 5 times 2 is 10. Okay. I'm making sets of 10. This is the divisor. The dividend would be 49. So I'm making sets of 10. By the way, before I do anything else, 
the prediction is that the answer is the, de the denominator is going to be 10 unless I simplify now, simplify that that changes the denominator but right now I haven't simplified anything okay okay if I have 49 I can make four groups of 10 at least but I have nine left over all right so I can make four full full sets of 10. I have nine left over. Four nine tenths. Now earlier I said the answer is gonna be pretty close to six. They say, wait, wait, that's four, that's four. Blah, 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 blah. But guess what? Nine tenths, that's pretty close to one. What's four plus one? Five. Right? Remember this is four and nine tenths. Four and one. That's five. Six is pretty close to five, right? Anyways, you don't have to estimate before you do the math, but it helps just to make sure that your answer is reasonable, okay? And plus, it might help you catch mistakes like you saw earlier with the other problem. Okay, number three. One and two thirds times two and four sevenths. Again, quick prediction. I'm going to say this is close to 1. The 1 and 1 is 2. This is a little bit, this is like half, right? 2 times 2 and a half. That would be about 5. Yes, it might be about 5. Maybe more, maybe less. But let's do the math. All right. Change the mixed numbers to improper fractions. Denominators stay the same because that's what you're making. You're making sets of 3, sets of 7. 3 times one, which is sets of three, one full set, plus two. Sets of seven, two full sets of seven, and you're adding four. Okay, three times one is three, plus two is five. And we're still making sets of three. I know it's an improper fraction, but for now, leave it alone. We can always fix it at the end, all right? Seven times two is 14, plus four is 18. And we're making sets of seven. Okay. Nope. I can't simplify. No common factors. I'll do the bottom one first, the denominator. Three times seven is twenty-one. So I'm making sets of twenty-one. But what's my dividend? Five times eighteen. Five times eight is forty. Five times one is five plus four is nine. Okay. An improper fraction, let's change it to a mixed number. Our dividend is 90, our divisor is 21. We're making sets of 21. Now, just for the sake of making this easy, in my head, I'm thinking this is 20. If I'm making sets of 20 and I have 90, I know I can make at least four, right? Because that four times 20 is 80. But do the math, four times one is four, four times two is eight, I have 84. 90 minus 84 is 6. Guys, I know we can do the whole regrouping thing, but if you can look at the big picture, 90 minus 84, it'll save you time. Otherwise, you have to go 0 minus 4. I can't do it. I have to regroup. I have to break this apart. The 9th in the 10th place, it's like I have 10, 10, 10, 10. I'm going to break apart one of those groups of 10 and bring it over here, and I'm left with 8 groups of 10 here, right? Which would be that. 10 minus 4 is 6. 8 minus 8 is 0. Whatever works for you, I'm just saying that you do what works. What you do what works for you. Okay, for me, just look at the big picture. Works. All right. So I'm making four full sets of 21. I have six left over, and I'm making sets of 21. Look at that. And is that the answer? No. No. And I thought it was, and it's not. And I realized something. I was about to just move away. Six and 21. Of three, four and two sevenths. Guys, this is just time table at this point. I'm not gonna. You can, if you don't believe what I just said, that six, you can make uh, groups of three out of six evenly. Look at your time table chart. Same thing with this. Look at your time table chart. Okay. And finally, we have a word problem. Yeesh. All right. Melanie is training for a track meet. She ran. Two and a half, sorry, two and one quarter miles 
five times this week. How far did Melanie run this week? Okay. Might not be the picture you want to see. Let's let's just look at the visual first. She ran two and one quarter miles. Right? Ah, there you can see it. Two and one quarter miles. She ran. Yay. But she did this five times, right? She did it five times. She did this five times. You know, by the way, you can always do the whole number first five times, two and one quarter. You're going to get the same answer. It doesn't matter. It's whatever you feel comfortable with, but in my case, I just feel comfortable with this. I can see it in my head. I can actually, if you want, you can actually draw two and one quarter, two and one quarter, two and one quarter, two and one quarter, five times. What I'm saying is you could do this. Because multiplication, one, two, three, four, is repeated addition. Okay? The first four make a mile, a mile and a quarter. I add up the whole numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, plus 10, 10, that's 11 and a quarter. Wow. See, many ways to do this. You don't have to do multiplication, but it's much faster. Well, everyone's different. For me, it would be faster to do this, but if you don't mind, I want, you can do it this way too. Just understand where I got this from. 2 and 1 quarter, 5 times, because she ran this distance 5 times in a week, right? You can always do it this way. That's fine. Whatever works for you. Again, let me just review. One quarter, four times. I'm making sets of four. One, two, three, four. I have enough for one full set with one left over. I'm going to color code just so you can see. I add all these together. That gives me one. And then two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten plus one is eleven, plus one quarter. But let's do the math, the multiplication, because you won't always have small numbers like this. All right, let's change it to improper fractions, sets of four. But I have two of them. Four times two plus one. That's a four. Times five. Remember, change this to a fraction. You put a one under it. Right? Five is the same way as saying you make you have five sets of one. Four times two is eight plus one is nine. Nine times five is forty-five. Ooh. Oh, I think some of you are starting to see this. We have sets of forty sorry, we're making sets of four. We have forty-five. Yes. How many groups of four can you make from forty-five? I'm just keeping quiet because I think most of you can already see this. Okay. The denominator stays the same. Right? one quarter same answer same answer okay and that is the guide to practice